We've been speaking about how to minister deliverance. And one area I want to mention is water baptism. Because when we come to the Lord and when we give our testimony publicly as we go under the waters of baptism and come up in renewal in Jesus Christ, many times people are delivered at that point. The demon powers as people's hearts turn to God cannot stand that act of baptism. So I want to point out that is another method of deliverance. Another wonderful method of deliverance is to get baptised in the Holy Spirit. Speak in tongues. I tell you, when people begin to speak in tongues, often all sorts of things leave them. Because the devil, if they've really turned their heart to God, then as they, as they open up to the Spirit of God and he gives them a fresh language, a new language with which to praise him, and the power of the Holy Spirit fills them, then the demon powers flee. Not always, it depends on the person, but many times we see people delivered when they go into water baptism. Now, I want to speak of the areas of the occult. May I just remind you when we're talking about demons that their primary task is to harass us. Harass us. They want to try and stop the Christian going on as a Christian or they want to stop a person becoming a Christian altogether. That's their function. They want to harass us, to either stop us in our walk. Satan sees a, uh, a young man starting to make his walk with the Lord, then he's become a pastor, and he's uh, uh, doing a nice job, and Satan says, well, I want to stop this young man. Uh, now there's a nice young lady in the church, and this young man, of course, has got his own wife, but there's a nice divorcee in the church. Uh, she's uh, uh, had about, uh, goodness knows how many previous relationships, but I'll send her along. And uh, he tries to attract the young man, the pastor, towards this woman, and that's a harassment that begins to take place. So we must be aware of his wiles, because when he sees a person going on with the Lord, his job, he wants to try and harass or stop us. But praise God, we don't have to be looking at Satan. We look at Jesus, making him central in our lives. Very well. Now, I want to look through what I call the occult checklist and I want to do this so that we can note the issues. And if you have been into any of these, put a cross beside it, please, if you haven't repented from it in the past. Abstract art under hallucinogenic sti stimulus. Acupuncture. Now, acupuncture can be a prickly one. That, <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Can be a prickly one. That was a pun. I didn't intend that, Lord. I was mean a, mean a controversial one. Some people say, well, I go to an acupuncturist and he does purely mechanical methodology and so forth. There's nothing of uh, any other philosophy behind it. All right, well, you've got to be led by the Holy Spirit. I've Some people come to me and tell me they're Christian acupuncturists. Well, I said, you know, it's between you and the Lord. But as I understand acupuncture, the philosophy of it, it's based on a, a Chinese philosophy and yin and yang and all sorts of other forces are involved. And if there's any involvement of those forces, then you are placing yourself under another power. And we must always be very conscious of the people under whom we place our bodies and our care in that type of thing. So basically, in general principle, I'm opposed to acupuncture. You may disagree with me on some areas and say, well, all right, it's mechanical. I'll leave between that, that between you and the Holy Spirit. But the real acupuncturist, in my view, the one who's following the philosophy of acupuncture, is working under a hidden spirit. Now, amulets, tiger's claws, shark's tooth, horseshoe over the door, mascots, earring, man, teller's man, ma magic picture. An anchor, I've explained that, a cross with a ring top used in satanic rites. Apparitions, astral travel, astrology, augury interpreting omens, automatic writing, birth signs, black arts, black magic involving hidden powers for bad ends. Black mass, blood subscriptions. That's, that's where people sh uh, shed blood or prick each other and pass their blood one from the other and they enter into a pact. Cartomancy using playing cards. Chain letters, charming or enchanting. That is attempts to use spirit power. Charming and cha uh, charms and charming for wart removal. Chinese astrology. Clear audience, that's an ability to hear voices and sound supernormally. Spirited voices allowing to, uh, alleging to be those of dead people giving advice or warnings. Clear sentience, supernatural sense perception. Clairvoyance, ability to see objects or events spontaneously or supernormally above their normal range of vision. Second sight, color therapy, 
concept therapy, conjuration, summing up a spirit by incantation, coven, community of witches, crystal ball gazing, crystals, death magic where the name of the sickness plus a written spell is cast into the coffin or grave, demon worship, dis disembodied spirits, divining rod or twig or pendulum. Some people use this to divine water. I'm satisfied from my own inquiries and from what I see happens there that there's a spiritual power involved which is not of God. Um, that's dowsing or witching for water, minerals, underground cables, or finding out the sex of an unborn child using a divining rod, pendulum, twig, or planchette. Dream interpretation, as with Ed Casey books, Dungeons and Dragons, and there's many other similar games out today, fantasy games. Be careful what your children get involved in. They begin to part take on the character of the game, and they can lead them into all sorts of uh, demonic problems. Eastern meditation, Religious, gurus, mantras, yoga, temples, etc. Ectoplasm, unknown substance from the body of a medium. S some mediums, the real mediums, eject or there's a white pla uh, substance come out of them uh, when they're involved in the spiritualist realm. And if you've been to a spiritualist, well, that's, or you've been in, your, in this thing yourself, you've got to renounce it. Enchanting, ESP, extrasensory extra perception. The find horn community. Uh, that is definitely demonic. Floating trumpets, fortune telling, gothic music, gurus, gypsy curses, hallucinogenic drugs, cocaine, heroin, marijuana, sniffing glue, etc. I prayed for a young man in Wellington Town Hall one night. He came up to me and said, I have a tremendous pain in my stomach. And when I went to pray with him, the Lord said, pot. So I thought, pot. Demon of pot, come out. Well, he spun, he fell on his backside, and he slithered about 30 yards, about 30, even 30 meters or more, across the, the bare floor, and uh, came up healed. This thing came out of him. It was a demon of pot. He'd been on marijuana. All right. Um, sniffing glue, handwriting analysis for fortune telling, hard rock music, Kiss, Led Ze Zeppelin, Rolling Stones. There's a whole lot more, as you know now. Heavy metal music, ACDC, Guns and Roses, all heavy rock. Hepatoscopy, examination of liver for interpretation. You'll find that's referred to in the Old Testament. Um, hex signs, hexagrams, horoscopes, hydromancy, divination by viewing images in water, hypnosis, idols, incantation, iridology. I have great reservations about it. There is, I believe, um, a definite occultic involvement in that. Um, iridology. Now, where do I go to from there? Uh, Japanese flower arranging. The Jonathan Livingston seagull. Reincarnation and Hinduism is involved there too. I prayed in the Wanganui Anglican Church one day for a young man who came up to me and he was terribly depressed. Terrific depression. His marriage was splitting. In fact, he was the vicar's son. And I said uh, to him, um, the Holy Spirit said to me, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Now that was a music, many of you remember, that was popular 12, 15 years ago. I said to him, do you play that record? He said, yes, we play it nonstop. I said, I want you to renounce it. So he stood there in front of 500 people and said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the spirit of Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I tell you, if some of your kids did that, with some of the rock music they listen to today, you'd see some results. Well, what happened with this young man? His hands went up like this. He began to flip like a seagull, and a squawk of a seagull came out of his mouth to the utter amazement of 500 people sitting in the Anglican church in Wanganui. So he... <laughs> You see, that, that um, uh, Jonathan Livingston Seagull was given by demons to the writer of both of the book and of the music, and they say it. Uh, now, hypnosis, oh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, karma, Kabbalah, that's occult law, levitation, lucky charms or signs of the zodiac or birthstones, magic, not slate, S-L-E-I-G-H-T of hand, but use of natural power. In other words, we're not talking about ordinary slate of hand. Uh, magic, we're talking about supernatural power magic. Mantras, martial arts, that's a powerful area. Kido, Judo, Karate, Kung Fu, Taekwondo. All of those areas are governed by spiritual powers. You get into the martial arts, you are placing yourself under another god. And violence and other sorts of things will manifest. They are definitely not of God. Matthew Manning and his writings, Mediums, Mental Suggestion, uh, mental telepathy, mental therapy, mesmerism, metaphysics, study of the spirit world, mind control, mind dynamics, mind mediumship, mind reading. You know, if you've been in this, you should note it so you can repent from it. Uh, Metascopua, 
Moon Mancy, Motoscope, a mechanical pendulum for diagnosing illness, mysticism, necromancy, conjuring up the spirits of the dead, numerical symbolism, numerology, occultic games, occultic letters of protection, occultic literature, for example, The Greater World, the sixth and seventh book of Moses, the other side, the book of Venus, pseudo Christian works by Jacob Lauber, works by Edward Casey, Alistair Crowley, Jean Dixon, Levi Dowling, Arthur Ford, the overt worship of spirit beings, jo Joanne Grieber, Andrew Jackson Davis, Anton LeBay, Ruth Montgomery, John Newborough, etc. Uh, other books should be burned regardless of cost. Such books should be burned regardless of cost. Omens, widgie boards, pagan fetishes, pagan religious objects, artifacts or relics, pagan rites, voodoo, sing sings, corabies, fire walking, um, 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 umbumba and macumba. Palmistry, PK, parakinesis, control of objects by the power of the mind and will, parapsychology, PSI, especially study of demonic activity, pendulum diagnosis, phrenology, divining analysis from the skull, planchette divining, precognition, Foreknowledge of occurrence of events, psychic healing, psychic sight, psychotherapy, uh, use of a heart-shaped board, psychometry, telling fortunes by lifting or holding object belonging to the inquirer, punk rock music, pyramidology, mystic powers associated with pyramids, um, rebirthing, reincarnation, re 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 rhabdomancy, casting sticks in the air to interpret omens, Satanism, seances, self-hypnosis, significant pagan days, silver mind control, sorcery, Spell, spirit knockings or rapping, star signs, stickomancy, fortune telling from random reference to books, stigmata, wounds that may or may not bleed. Now, there are some questions people have raised with me about some forms of stigmata, but I'm referring there to a demonic form of stigmata that can appear. Superstitions, self or parents or grandparents, table tipping, tarot cards, 22 picture cards for fortune telling, tea leaf reading, thought transference, DK, telekinesis, TM, transcendental meditation, trances, transmigration, travel of the soul, UFO fixation, Yuri Geller, white magic, invoking hidden powers for good ends, witchcraft, yoga, zodiac signs and birth dates and zodiac signs, zodiac charms. So there it is. Now, there's a lot of non-Christian religions and cults and uh, we've listed them here. Ananda Marga Yoga Society, Anthroposophical Society, uh, Urethim, Rudolf Steiner, Wardolf Schools, Asara, Bubba Free John, Buddhism, Children of God, Family of Love, Christadelphians, Christian Science, Church of the Living Word, John Robert Stevenson, The Work, The, the, work, the Walk, I should say, Church Universal and Triumphant, Elizabeth Clare Prophet, Confucianism, Divine Light Mission, Guru Maji Jai, Druid's Lodge, Ekanar, Paul Twitchell, Enlightenment, Heightened Awareness, Nirvana, Satori, Transcendental Bliss, God Realization, Expanded Consciousness, All the Perceptions of Reality, Cosmic Consciousness, etc. SLN Institute, Michael Murphy, EST, Erhart Training Seminars, Foundation Faith of Millennium, Robert de Grinston, Foundation of Human uh, Understanding, Roy Masters, Freemasonry, and this next guy is Gerd Jeff Subud Renaissance, and that's another form of Christianity. Harry Krishna, Hinduism, Karma Reincarnation, Avatars, uh, Bhagavad Gita, Yoga TM, Holy Order of Mans, Inner Peace Movement, International Community of the Christ, the Jamilian Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, uh, Krish and the Maturi Foundation of America, Mihu Baba, Mind Sciences, Mormons. Um, the Mormons, of course, uh, say that Jesus Christ is a, a, a created being. He's the brother of Satan. I mean, Mormonism is an abomination before God. It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. The Normans, I've tackled many Mormons on this, they do not deny their claim that Jesus Christ was the brother of Satan and a created being. I mean, that is an abomination. Um, Mukha Tanandra, all this other business here, Cedar Yoga Dam Centers, Neo Gnosticism, New Age Movement, and then we've got a whole lot of other things here. I'll just call it NSA, Lotus Sutra, Rastafarianism, Ratanism, Religious Science, and there's a fellow Reverend Ike, there's a Reverend Sun Moon, there's Rosicrucianism, the Sai Sababa, Scientology, Self-Realization Fellowship, Shamanism, Shintoism, Spiritual Frontiers Fellowship, Spiritualism, Spiritism, Sri Shamoy, Swami, uh, Kriyanda, Swami Rami, and uh, so on. Swedenborganism, Taoism, Theosophy, Uranti, Uranti, Unity School of Christianity, Charles Myrtle and Lowell Fillmore, Worldwide Church of God, Herbert Armstrong. Boy, if there's ever confusion, it's put out by that lot. And then he will tomorrow, the plain truth. Outer confusion and nothing to do with the Spirit of God. Yogi Bhajan, Sikh Foundation, 3HO Foundation, Zen. Well, goodness me, look what the devil's up to. When we made our first list about 10 years ago, there was half of that number, and these, a lot of these have popped up since. So that's what's going on. Anyway, let's give our, get our eyes on Jesus. If you've been in any of that stuff, please note it, because we're going to give you a chance to repent from it in the next few minutes. Now, here we come to the action.
is where you participate. Praise God. Praise God. I want us to turn for a moment. Well, before we do that, I want us to bow our heads, please. Father, we do thank you for your one, the wonder of your name, the wonder of Jesus Christ. Father, we just thank you, Lord, and we give you the glory. And we praise you, Lord, and we worship you. I want everybody in this place just to stand for a moment, please. Just to stand. The Lord says, stand and just refresh yourself for a moment. Just stand for a moment. Thank you. We've come now to the end of the teaching. We want to come into, the, into ministry. We thank you, Father, and we just give you the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's get our eyes on the Lord, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank God, Spirit is beginning to move in our midst. Spirit of God is here. Well, Father, we've wanted to give no glory to the devil. We just want to expose him, to bring him out into the light, all his works, so that people can be set free in the name of Jesus. I want to say this to you this, this afternoon, as I've been speaking to you, if God's been speaking to you about any, unref uh, any um, sin in your life which you've never really repented from, and secondly, if you have never, ever confessed publicly Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour before other people, or thirdly, if you know there's a gap between you and God, in a few moments I'm going to ask you to come forward and stand at the front of this meeting, and let's get things right with God. So I'm going to ask you to consider this. If God's been speaking to you about sin you've never repented from, you're a Christian, you realise today the sin in your life, maybe it's been on that list, maybe it's been other things, or secondly, and this is very important, if you, even though you go to church, have never before made a public declaration before others of the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to invite you to come out and do it because Jesus said, whoever confesses me before men, I will confess their name before God and the angels. Whoever denies me before men, I'll deny before God and the angels. I never knew salvation till I took my stand with Jesus Christ even though I went to church for 20 years before that. And thirdly, if you know there's a gap between you and God, well, I want you also to come forward and let the Spirit of God minister to you and see that gap closed because it may well be caused by some sin or some area of your life that you need to fully expose to the Lord. So, Father, as we've been speaking here all day and as your Spirit has been moving in our midst, dear Holy Spirit, I ask you now to speak to that three categories of people. First, those who need to repent from some sin in their lives, to get before you on their knees in front of this gathering and do it as you would lead them, Lord. And secondly, those who have never made a public confession of the name of Jesus Christ, even though they go to church. And thirdly, those who know there's a gap between you and them. Father, I pray now that you'll speak into each heart and encourage them to come forth boldly in the name of Jesus Christ so that we may proceed with this deliverance meeting in Jesus' name and healing meeting. Amen. If God's speaking to you, please come forward boldly now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and stand in the front of the meeting. There'll be many of you, God, speaking to you. Just come forward. If in one of those areas, just come forward, please. Come and speak and stand. There'll be many of you, God, speaking to you. Just come forward and stand here now. Come forward. If you, want, you know you need help and in one of those three areas, you've never even made a public confession of the Lord or there's a gap between you and God, no matter where you are in the meeting, might be in the middle of a row. Just come forward. There's many more to come. Just come quickly, please. Best part of 100 people should be out here. Just come quickly, please. Let the Spirit of God just speak to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. The rest of you just remain standing a moment, would you please? I just want to give you an opportunity of doing something further. I want to be as quick as I can about this, but it's so important. This is so important. So important. So important. So important. Father, convict them, I ask, in your, by your Holy Spirit. Convict each one of us, Lord, of anything in our lives that's not right before you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, those of us who haven't come out, would you do something to help a person near to you? I'm going to ask you in a moment to turn to the person nearest to you and say, do you need to come out to the front? Because if you do, and you're a bit shy about it, they'll come with you. Why don't you do that? Those of you who have not come out, ask a person beside you or around you, Somebody else, do you need to be at the front of the meeting? If so, I'll come out with you. Would you do that, please? Just encourage them out. Bring 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 them out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring them out, please. There's people coming all over the place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Amen and amen.
amen and amen. Praise God for his goodness. Praise God for his goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Very well. Very well. Those of you who haven't come out, please be seated. Those of you who have come out, if you're physically able, if you're physically able, please go on your knees before God. And while you're on your knees now, I want you just to confess to the Lord any sin that he is reminding you of. Now, this applies to us all who are out here or even at the seats. And I want you to say, Lord, I admit I, or I confess that I've had unforgiveness towards my parents or my sister or my auntie or my uncle, or I confess that adultery or homosexuality or hatred or rejection or fear or whatever it is. Please do it now. Please say, Lord or Father or God, do it aloud. Don't fuss about those around you. Just, Lord, I, forg uh, I forgive, I, re or I renounce abortion, I confess that abortion, Lord, or whatever it is. Just be honest to God. Let's be honest. Father, you're here by your spirit now. You love us, Lord. Lord, I just pray there'll be a real openness. Every door will be opened in our heart now so that no door retains, nothing is retained in any room. Father, I pray for every door to be opened wide now of our hearts. Every door, Lord. All that past sin that we've never confessed, all those things that have not been of you, Lord, we just confess them now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. May your spirit of conviction, Lord, rest heavily upon us this afternoon, Father. Father, we just want to see people totally healed and delivered in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just want to know your love in a new way. But we know, Lord, we must turn absolutely to you. Anything in you you need to repent from, please, and do it right now. Wrong attitudes, wrong relationships. Maybe it's gossip. Maybe it's lying, cheating, thieving. Maybe it's sodomy. Maybe it's other forms of unclean sex. Whatever it is. Maybe it's pornography. Whatever it is, just confess it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As you finish, please stand. When you're finished, please stand. Thank you, Lord. Let's all have a repentant heart towards God. But you're willing, welcome to stand when you're finished. Thank you, Lord. When you're finished, please stand. Those of you out front, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, I tell you, God's going to cleanse some of you from anxiety. Some of you are so bound with anxiety. And I know the Spirit of God is just going to just lift heaviness and anxiety and depression from you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So many of you here are fearful about your future. We just thank you, Lord, that you're with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's a few moments longer as these people complete their repentance before God. Let's be very sensitive to what God's doing. Sensitive to what God's doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just praise you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We give you the glory. Dear Jesus, dear Holy Spirit, you're here with us now. I just thank you, Lord, for all of these dear ones who are really repenting before you now, who are really wanting to have things right in their life, to learn to minister in your power and love. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. All right, I'm just wondering now whether I can ask everybody else in the place be seated to stand for, the, for this prayer, please. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want us just to say the prayer of salvation, which is to confess the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and turn from sin. So let's say together, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come boldly to your throne of grace. I confess that I'm a sinner. I now repent from all sin, all the works of the devil. I believe that Jesus Christ came born of a virgin. He came in the flesh. He, came in the flesh. he, lived, a he lived a sinless life. He died on the cross in my place. He, on the cross in my place. he paid the penalty for all my sins. He, paid the penalty for all my sins. he cleansed me, he cleansed me. Redeemed me. Redeemed me. 
forgave me, sanctified me. Thank you, Jesus. He healed me, body, soul, and spirit. I believe you rose from the dead on the third day. I believe you are seated at the right hand of God. I turn to you, Lord Jesus, away from all sin, all the works of the devil, and I confess you now as my Lord and my Saviour. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for praising. Thank you for saving me, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Let the devil hear it. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to somebody and say, God has forgiven me. I am saved. The devil is a liar. Tell them that. God has saved me. Thank you, Lord. The devil is alive. I am forgiven. Right. Now, while you're standing there, everybody out front, I want you to say with me, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. Everybody in the place say, I am forgiven. I am forgiven. I am forgiven. Yes, and I want to declare, as a disciple of Jesus Christ, that your sins are forgiven. And I want you to receive that right into your spirit now so that any platform the devil has of guilt or anxiety is gone. So that's the first step we want to take this afternoon. Just get it really settled in our spirit. If we've meant business with God, he's heard our cry. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now go boldly back to your seats for a few minutes, will you please, everybody who came out. And if you've never had any form of water baptism, those who came out, Please make sure you do so and please go into a church that loves Jesus Christ if you're not already a member. Heard what I said? If you've never had any form of water baptism or if you don't belong to a church, make sure you join a church that worships Jesus Christ as Saviour, preaches the gospel and also um, make sure you are water baptised. All right, now we'll take hold of the sheet, How to Break Curses. And we're going to do a bit of praying again, if you don't mind. I think it would be good if we say these prayers on page six, some of them anyway, and if you will perhaps stand as we say them, because we're standing before God, and many of us are going to be set free just by saying these prayers. All right, let's take the general prayer in regard to curses. Say with me, please. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess you are the only Son of God, that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again. On the cross you took every curse and became a curse for me. I confess my own sins and the sins of my ancestors and I ask your forgiveness. I forgive others. I forgive them as you forgave me. Now let's stop for a moment. I forgive my parents. I forgive my parents. I honour my parents. I honour my parents. Let's carry on. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. I renounce all contact with the occult. I renounce all contact with the occult. And with occultic objects. And I, and I receive your forgiveness. Please forgive me, Father, Please forgive me, Father for, blaming for blaming you for what others may have done to me. I now release myself and those under me from any curse. From any curse. I declare myself released. I, myself released. I claim it. I and, I thank you, Lord, and I thank you, Lord, through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. I have been redeemed from the curse of the law. And I have entered into the blessing of Abraham, Abraham. whom God blessed in all things. Thank Thank you, Father God. Thank Thank God. Begin to thank God. Thank Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Now let's go down a little further. Prayer for deliverance from soul ties. Dear Heavenly Father, let's go with me. Dear Heavenly Father, as I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the authority that is in that name, I break every soul tie affecting my body, soul or spirit, which has existed between myself and, and now let's name somebody, it may be some person you think of, let's say it again, this part so we can go straight into it, it may be some your parents or some other person, just say it aloud if you, it's inconvenient for you to say it aloud, say it quietly, but say it aloud if at all possible, away we go, which has, say it again, which has existed between myself and, now name the person, anything that you know is ungodly, Say it quietly or aloud as you wish. Thank you, Lord. Just think of that freedom God's offering. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I specifically speak to every demonic power that has taken advantage of that link, and I tell it that it has no rights here, and it must leave me now without going into any other member of my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that through your shed blood and through your wonderful name, I am able to be absolutely free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's take a prayer against inner vows that we might have made. I'm no good. You're no good. Or something like You've said this to yourself. Think of anything you may have said as we say this. Let's go. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ. I specifically renounce all vows which I have made, knowingly or unknowingly, against myself. I specifically renounce. Now, any vows that you may have said, I'll never be any good, say them out. I renounce this, say it aloud, or say it quietly. I'll never be any good. I'll never make it. I'll be a failure. I'll never be any good. I want to die. Anything that the Lord reminds you of, just say it now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's carry on. I ask you to totally cleanse me and set me free from the result of those vows, and I thank you for doing it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You've renounced it. Now, prayers against pronouncements and curses that might have been put on you by other people, knowingly or unknowingly. Away we go. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the authority of that name. I specifically renounce all curses that have been placed upon my life through the words of those who have abused and damaged me. I forgive them and I ask you, Lord, to release me from their consequences. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I'm no longer under that pronouncement. I'm no longer under that pronouncement that you're a failure. You'll never be any good. That's all gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, the Holy Spirit is moving in our midst. Father, I just ask, as you're moving in our midst now, that you just bless us, bless every person here. Father, before we go on in this deliverance area, because we're coming to the point now where we're, we're, we're going into general ministry. Father, I pray in Jesus' name now for your Holy Spirit to fall upon us. And for those, Lord, who are seeking healing to begin to sense your healing fall. Father, I'm asking this in the name of Jesus Christ now. Lord, I'm asking and believing, Lord, that by your Spirit you'll begin to move in our midst. Holy Spirit, I believe, is moving like a wind from the right-hand side rear of the room forward. The fragrance of the Holy Spirit is falling on our left as we keep our eyes on Jesus. Maybe keep your eyes closed. Many, many people get healed now just by the power of God falling in a meeting like this without anybody coming near them. Thank you, Lord. I just believe you say pray against allergies in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak against every spirit of allergy and command it to leave. Thank you, Lord, against ulcers, pain, everything else, Father. I rebuke. Begin to put your hand perhaps on the part of the body that's afflicted and let the Holy Spirit begin to minister to us. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast out every spirit of sickness that's afflicting any person. Command it to leave. And Father, I just pray now, be leaving for your healing unction. God's spirit is moving in our midst. People are being healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If you've got a problem in your ears, place your fingers on your ears, please, or on your eyes. Father, I just thank you for your healing, anointing touch. If you've had persistent pain, headaches, the Lord's speaking to a person with persistent pain, headaches and bleeding, place your hand on your stomach and womb, sister. God's healing you. Thank you. There's a person on the back of the room on my left. That's on your right. And they've been hard of hearing for years. God's opening their ears. Thank you, Father, for your healing, anointing touch right here now in the name of Jesus Christ. The wind of God's Spirit is here. Thank you, Lord. Pain is leaving. Thank you, Father, in Jesus Christ. Now, person, God's strengthening a person, person's limbs now. Begin, people are beginning to sense the love of God, the healing power of God. You may feel nothing, and then you find you're healed. Others may sense that healing going right through their body. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I believe you're touching many people in this place. We've raised high the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit, as you move in our midst, touching each and every one, Lord, who's looking for healing. Lord, I believe you touch them by your Spirit at this moment. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I just continually hear my spirit is moving in your midst, my people. My spirit is moving in your midst. God's spirit is moving in our midst. Thank you, Lord. There's a swelling going down in somebody's abdomen. Other things are happening right at this moment. Thank you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name. I break and bind every spiritual power of sickness that has bound any person. I break it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I command it to go from this place in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the many testimonies, Lord, we've seen in these areas in the past in which we believe for today. Thank you, Lord. Here's the fragrance of the Spirit. Let's just sing, He is Lord, once through, please. Somebody lead us. says he's broken the power of the devil. Tell him I've broken his power over many of your bodies this afternoon, the Lord has. And I just want you to quietly thank God for your healing, whether you felt anything or not. If you've been believing, just thank him. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing from depression and anxiety and also from physical complaints. Just thank God. Thank God. While we've been, while we have been standing, how many of you have sensed the healing power of God on your body as you believe? Let's see your hands, please. That's many of you. I'd estimate 100, 200 people. Thank you, Lord. Put your hands down. How many of the... Thank you. How many of those, since we've been standing, know physically that you've had some form of physical healing? Like, raise your hands. Let's see them. Thank you, Lord. That's many of you too. You know you've had some form of physical healing. See, God can touch us directly. We praise God for that. And we thank Him. Please be seated then. All right, now... In this final portion, I want to ask those of you who, having listened to today, believe that you have within you something that is driving, compelling, 
tormenting, harassing, or whatever it is along the lines I discussed about the activity of demons, something that is something you know that's within you that shouldn't be there, that's maybe wriggling around inside of you, or you feel it's oppressing you or attacking you. In other words, you need deliverance. And after today's session, you've felt that God wants, you, you, know, you know you need some form of deliverance. I'm going to ask you to come quickly to the front of the meeting here. Would you do that, please? Any person in this place who knows, having been and listened to what we've said today. Now, let's be open about it and honest. You, not a question of being shy about these matters. Come out and let's get it over with. Let's form uh, one single line, please. One single line. Thank you, Lord. Form one single line. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we thank you, Lord, and we give you the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Something may be afflicting you down your ancestral line. You just know that there's something there that you need to be set free from. Come quickly, please, because we are uh, governed by time here with the video. I may say this, I must be honest with you, if you do not wish to be videoed in this deliverance session at this point of time, you should not come to the front. I've got to be honest with you. But if you don't mind us videoing you, I want to tell you, if you get delivered here today and God can deliver you, it can set so many people free. Jesus Christ did his deliverance as publicly as I read them. There's a time we can do deliverances privately, but there's a time like this where we, God wants to minister to us. All right. Now, I want those of you who wish to minister in deliverance, maybe you've never done it, and those of you who have delivered, ministered in deliverance, both of you, those two groups, those who wish to and those have, to come out here now and stand with these people, please. I think it would be in order uh, for... Uh, a number of you, because of the numbers, to come up onto the platform here. Would you mind? Come right up here, this group here, because we've got so many people. Just come right up. Let's use the whole platform. We've got a whole area right across there. Why don't we use it? There's much more room up here, and that'll give, allow these people to come through and help you. Let's just minister to one another. Come up quickly, please. All of you who are, some, a lot of you who are down front here, just come up quickly. Spread right across, right along there. And we're going to get people to stand with you and pray for you. Some of you along there, can you come along here so that we can make a little more room and spread out a bit? Okay, now can we let the people through who are prepared to help in ministry? But I, need, I can have more people up here. Don't worry about the lights, people. Don't worry about anything. You can do what you like. You can turn around if you don't like the lights. I don't care, but just come up here. The other people, please, there'll be people standing in front of you. Those who want to help minister here, come up quickly, please. Come up and help us. Come up and help us. Quickly. Come through from over there. If you can help us, come and help us here. Come and help us here. Thank you, Lord. Come and help us here. Thank you, Father. Now, those of you in the back there, can you come along and help these people, please? Come and work through and face them. Put, face a person, please. Face a person. Those of you there, just come through. Come right through here. Move along here because there's a lot of people up there. It's a bit crowded. Let the, move through, please. Make sure everybody's got at least one person with them. At least one person with them. Thank you, Jesus. At least one person with them. All right? Maybe two. It's better if men can be with men and women with men, women. I'm not bound by that at this moment, but it's better if you can be with men and women with women. Right, just find somebody, please. Spread out. Let them through. Let them through. Let them through. There's people over there who still need help. What about you people moving along this way? Can you move along here a bit so those people can have a bit more room? Just along here a little bit. A little bit. Just move along a bit. Let them through. Just a bit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You, you got somebody to minister to? Oh, that's all right. Um, well, if there's two men, they can minister to a woman. That's all right. It isn't one, one man with one woman. That's all right. Or two men can minister to two women. But just be better if there's men, a couple of men together. It's not impossible for a man to minister to a woman in this context. I wouldn't advise it privately, that's all. All right, now are we ready? Has everybody got somebody standing with them who needs ministry? Everybody who needs ministry. Who hasn't? Who has not? See these people with their hands raised? Please, somebody go to them quickly.
How many, anybody with a hand raised who's not got somebody to minister to them? Please, somebody else, can they come and minister, please? Can they come and minister? Go and minister to those people with their hands raised. There's a lady over here who needs somebody. Any spare ladies down there? Anybody spare? Come on, sister, would you go up there, please, and stand with that person over there? All right, now, is it, who still hasn't got somebody with them? There's a person over there, a couple of people over there. Could somebody just go and be with them, please? Anybody else? All right, well, that's fine. Now, I want us, I want you to listen carefully, please, when we come into this prayer situation. We are, first of all, going to say a further prayer confessing Jesus Christ as Lord, and we're going to renounce any areas that we need to in the way of sin. We've confessed it, and we'll renounce it. Now, I'm going to pray after that, commanding spirits to leave people. And so will the people who are praying for the others. Anybody praying, I want you to command spirits to leave these people. But before we do that, we're going to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. So let's say together, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Now we're reminding Satan. The adversary, we are reminding him that we are cleansed, redeemed, sanctified and justified by the blood of Jesus. So we, uh, before we lay hands on any person, Father, I claim the protection of the blood of Jesus over the whole situation. So in no way can there be any transference of any spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and I agree with my brethren here that any spirit that seeks to intrude or touch another person is bound in Jesus' name, that we will not have it, and we are proclaiming the protection of the blood of Jesus. Lord, we also believe your ministering angels are around us now. There's no, we're not going to be fearful of the devil, Lord. Now, when I have finished praying in a moment, I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath of the Holy Spirit and breathe out any spirit in you. Now, this, when you do that, you may do it two or three times, but then you may feel the sob comes out, and that's often fear. Or you may feel that you want to scream. All right, well, I don't encourage people to scream, but if you're going to scream, let it happen. But don't just do it as, a, as an emotional act, please. But if something comes out of you with a scream, all right. If, if something else happens, if you spit or cough or whatever it is, all right, let it happen. But don't hold back anything in you that wants to come out. That's all I'm saying. But don't manufacture it either. All right? Just if you feel something coming out of you as you're breathing in the Holy Ghost, expel it out of you. And if you feel if it rises up and causes you to roar or scream or anything, okay, let it happen. I'm not particularly looking for that to happen, but if it happens, let it happen. But don't make it happen. All right? Everybody clear, please? So because we're going to command these things to come out of people, absolutely, and from them. And in the name of Jesus Christ, it will happen. Who can say amen to that? Amen. Now let all of us say... These words, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Son of God. The Messiah. The Messiah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Who came in the flesh. Who came in the flesh. You died on the cross. You died on the cross. You rose from the dead on the third day. Now I know we've done this, but we'll do it again. I now confess all my sin. I now confess all my sin. In particular, in particular I, I confess seeking help from to help from Satan. In particular, I seek help. It only comes from God. Now that's if you've been in the occult. I confess as a sin and anything of the occult. Let's be very clear about that. Anything of the occult. Any other sin. Now, Lord, I now renounce that. Lord, I, now renounce I renounce Satan and all of his works. I renounce Satan and all of his works. I hate his demons. I hate his demons. I count them my enemies in the name of Jesus. I count them my enemies in the name of Jesus. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ. I have been cleansed. I have been cleansed from all sin. From all sin. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ. I have been forgiven. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ I have been made I have been made sanctified made holy to God I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ I have been justified just as if I had never sinned just as if I had never sinned my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit Therefore the, Therefore, the devil has no place in me. 
and no power over me. I overcome Satan with the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I loose myself now from every dark spirit from every, dark spirit. from every evil influence, from every, evil influence. From every curse, from every, curse. From every satanic bondage, from, every satanic bondage. From, any spirit in me. from any spirit in me that is not the Spirit of God. I command all such spirits to leave me now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I let them go now. I let them go now. Satan, I bind your power. Satan, I bind your power. I loose you. I loose you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now I'm going to pray and remember as you just breathe in the Holy Ghost and as I pray, breathe anything out of you and let it go. Let me pray. Satan, I bind your power and I command you to loose these people and come out from them now in Jesus Christ's name. Now breathe in the Holy Ghost and expel anything out of you that's not of God. Every spirit of divination, sorcery, witchcraft, hate, anger, rejection, fear, unbelief, doubt, abortion, adultery, homosexuality. I bind your power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to loose these people, depart from them and from this place in Jesus Christ's name. Now command them to come out. Breathe, those, breathe in hard and breathe these things out. You'll feel them come in. Now put your hands on these people and tell them to go. Tell these things to come out of them. Come out of them in Jesus' name. Breathe them out, out of them. I loose you in Jesus Christ's name. Every spirit of hell, flee in the name of Jesus Christ. Flee in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic curse, flee. Flee. Place your hands on them. Place your hands on them. Thank you, Jesus. And tell them to go. Tell those spirits to leave. Breathe it. Now cough it out. Get rid of it. Let it come out of you. Let it come out of you. Whatever it is, let it come out. Hysteria, anger. Go in Jesus Christ. Breathe it out. Let it come out. Anguish, fear, doubt, unbelief. Flee in Jesus Christ's name. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Breathe it out, sister. Breathe it out. Let it go. Thank you, Lord. Breathe it out. Thank you, Father. Cough it out. Cough it out. Every spirit that has inhabited you, go in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Rebuke it in Jesus Christ's name. Command it to go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every demonic power that afflicts any person, I rebuke now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. From your neck and shoulders. Now cut off any Jezebelic spirits in Jesus' name. Anything from the heavenlies, we cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in Jesus' name. Take a deep breath and breathe out hard. Thank you, Lord. Breathe it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. Thank you, Lord. Cough it out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Whatever it is, rebuke it. Let it go. Breathe it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke every satanic power, every satanic spirit. I rebuke you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, I want us to pause just a minute, please. I want us to pause just a minute. I believe the Lord says we are to break the power of unbelief that's in the heavenlies above us because there's certain powers that are holding people now in a clutch. So let's break this power. Let's agree because over the city there's a lot of unbelief and over this area. So let's believe. Let's say together, Father, in Jesus' name, Father, in Jesus name I agree, I agree. To, break to break every power of unbelief, every power of unbelief that is in the un heavenlies over us. We bind its power in Jesus' name. Every spirit of tradition that's not of God. Every spirit of religion that is not of God. We command you to go in Jesus' name. And we claim deliverance for the captives from curses from every form of demonic activity. 
Now as I pray a final prayer, another prayer now, again begin to breathe in the Holy Ghost and let anything go because that spirit of unbelief is now broken. I'm coming now. Satan, I bind your power and command you to loose these people and come out from them now in Jesus Christ's name. Every spirit of divination, sorcery, witchcraft, occultism, whatever it is, I bind your power in the name of Jesus Christ.